An adventure game is a great programming project. It's fun to do, but it's not trivial. I'm Hugh Collingbourne, and in this course, I'll tell you how to write your own games. I'll explain everything from the basics right through to advanced topics such as how to create complex class hierarchies and how to save and restore your games. Now, I've done a few lessons on game programming before. You can find them on the Code with Hugh YouTube channel, but nothing on the scale and depth of this course. If you're just getting started with programming, developing an adventure game will really help you to learn serious programming skills. If you're already an experienced programmer, well, writing an adventure game is just a lot of fun. And also, it might be quite a bit more challenging than you're expecting. Now, way back in the 1980s, I wrote a game called The Golden Wombat of Destiny. In the years since then, I've been a software developer and educator. I've taught tens of thousands of people to program online. I've been a programming columnist for print magazines such as PC Plus and Computer Shopper and I'm the author of numerous books on a range of programming languages and techniques. So what will you learn in this course? And what software will you need to get started? Although the techniques I'll show you can be applied to pretty much any mainstream programming language, I've decided to concentrate on just two programming languages, C Sharp and Java. Now, I realise that if you're not a very experienced programmer, trying to make sense of two lots of code could be a problem. And for that reason, I'll be using C Sharp as the default language in this course. So if you want to follow along with me every step of the way, bear in mind that I'll show the C Sharp code in the most detail. However, for the benefit of Java programmers, I'll also explain how to use the Java language. And often the differences between my C Sharp and Java code will be quite small. If you want to follow along in C Sharp and you're using Windows, be sure to get a free copy of Microsoft's Visual Studio development software. Now I'll have more to say about that in the next lesson. When I show Java programs, I'll be using the NetBeans environment, and that's available for several operating systems. Experienced Java programmers are free, of course, to use any Java IDE. The code works just the same, but I won't be showing any of those other Java IDEs in my lessons. All the software I'm using is free, and the download details are shown under this video. This course is broadly based on my two books, The Little Java Book of Adventure Game Programming and The Little Book of Adventure Game Programming with C Sharp. You can download all the source code for those books from the Bitwise Books website. The best way to follow this course is to use the playlist, which shows the lessons in order, with new lessons being added at the end of the list when they're published. The playlists of all my courses can be found on my YouTube channel. It's going to take me quite some time to record all the lessons to take you from the start to the finish of a complete game, and I strongly suggest that you subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the little bell icon so that you'll get an email to let you know when I upload new lessons. OK, so it's time to move on. In the next lesson, I'll give you a quick overview of the programming tools that you need to install.